Hello everybody, I'm Pierre Robert de Daily Trader. This is a video about Neo Battery Material. This is a silicon anode company that is located in Canada. And I knew about them in the past, but I stumbled upon video presentations that Neo Battery Material did. When I watched those videos, I could not help but notice that Neo has exactly the same silicon anode strategy than Tesla. This is eerily the same. So my guess is that Tesla is going to do some kind of deal with NIO. Maybe it's going to be a big contract. Maybe it's going to be a licensing deal. Maybe it's going to be a purchase agreement. But uh, this is really interesting. I will now play parts of the Tesla battery silicon anode strategy, and I will intermix it with the silicon anode strategy of NEO and you will see that they are absolutely in sync. So let's watch this. Let's talk about the anode. Let's talk about silicon. Why is silicon awesome? It's awesome because it's the most abundant element in the Earth's crust after oxygen. And it happens to store nine times more lithium than graphite, which is the typical anode material in lithium ion batteries today. So why isn't everybody using it? The main reason is because the challenge with silicon is that it expands 4x when fully charged with lithium. And basically all of that expansion stress on the particle, the particles start cracking, they start electrically isolating, you lose capacity, the energy retention of the battery starts to fade, and it also gums up with a passivation layer that has to keep reforming as the particles expand. Yep. And current approaches to solve this, which exist, we have silicon in the cars that you're all in right now, are involved highly engineered expensive materials in the scheme of things. Now, they're still great and they enable some of the benefits of silicon, they just don't enable all of it and they're not scalable enough. And you can see some of the things that, that maybe you've heard of, SIO, silicon with carbon or silicon nanowires, that's the space right now. If you do your research on competitors in the industry right now, there are a lot of competitors using nano silicon, silicon oxides, silicon carbides or silicon nanowires which do well in terms of performance, but the economics of these options are quite uh, terrible. What we're proposing is a step change in capability and a step change in cost. Go to the raw metallurgical silicon itself. Don't engineer the base metal. Just start with that and design for it to expand in how you think of the particle in the electro design and how you code it. Start with raw metallurgical silicon, we are the first to use and enable 10 times cheaper silicon input compared to the industry. And this is called metallurgical grade silicon. Stabilize the surface with an elastic ion conducting polymer coating. Our new batting material solution is coating nanocoating materials onto the silicon itself. And if you see here on the diagram, the green dots represent the nanocoating that's on the yellow silicon particle itself. So what we are able to do is that we control the volume expansion problem that happens within the silicon. So last month, we've achieved uniform nanocoating capability of our silicon anodes. Now, what this means is that our silicon anode technology in terms of performance is highly dependent on the nanocoating capabilities and how uniformly coated uh, the strong polymers are on the silicon itself. But what we have achieved is great performance and the uniform coating capability on a very rigid and silicon shapes and structures. That is applied through a very scalable approach. We're implementing a continuous process. We don't produce a fixed amount in a fixed amount of time, but we're aiming to produce silicon anodes 24 seven, running the factory day and night. No like chemical vapor deposition, no highly engineered high capex solutions. What the industry does is that they use highly sophisticated, complex, and expensive engineering environments. And these environments provide a good boost in performance, but this is a downward boost on their costs. But what we do is we don't sacrifice the performance, but we also don't sacrifice the cost. And the most important point about our technology is that we have low cost manufacturing methods as well as low cost inputs and then integrated in the electrode through a robust network formed out of a highly elastic binder. Our silicon nanocoating solution allows for ultra flexibility. So our products can not only be used in EV products, but also they can be used in electronic gadgets as well. 
Isn't it pretty impressive? To summarize, Neo Battery Material is using metallurgic silicon. They are coating the silicon with a polymer, exactly the same as Tesla wanted to do. And that polymer will make sure that the silicon does not expand when charging. In terms of the polymer, NEO has developed a process that is very cheap to apply. So they are using cheap silicon and they also have a cheap process to coat the silicon. On top of that, the silicon is put on a highly flexible binder that can allow it to withstand some flex. So yes, it can be used in EVs, but it could be used in also more flexible portable gadgets. And in terms of the patent, in regards to the silicon anode manufacturing process, and we will be applying this patent not only to the Korean Intellectual Property Office, but also to the U.S. as well as the international PCT as well. And we're looking to increase our patent portfolio to a total of 15 issued and pending by the end of this year. NEO is applying for worldwide patents on its coding process. And in the end, by leveraging this silicon to its potential, we can increase the range of our vehicles by an additional 20%, just this improvement. The whole battery cost can be reduced. A smaller amount of silicon can give higher performance and high longer ranges, faster charging and graphite itself. And when we take that anode cost reduction, we're looking at another 5% dollar per kilowatt hour reduction at the battery pack level. Let's talk about cathodes who are going to go and start building our own cathode facility in North America and leveraging all of the North American resources that exist for nickel and lithium. What I find interesting is that Tesla plans to create a cathode factory, but it does not plan on creating an anode factory. Is Neo battery material going to create a a node factory. And this means that when we build the commercial plant by the first half of 2024, just 45% will allow us to supply to 160,000 electric vehicles. And with the final annual, the lower end of the final annual capacity, the 2000 tons would allow us to supply to about 1.3 million electric vehicles on going forward. This means that Tesla could be purchasing the anode material directly from NEO battery materials. Or another line of generating cash flows would be licensing our processes to these battery manufacturers and EV OEMs so they can vertically integrate our silicon anode manufacturing process into their factories directly. So NEO is also looking to license its process to EV car manufacturers and also battery makers. As you saw with the amount of logos of companies that they are talking to, even if Tesla does not do a deal with NEO, I think NEO can be a very interesting company to own in the future. If we look at NEO's stock chart uh, here uh, Saturday, June 17th, we see that the stock had a nice run since uh, May of this year. It went for approximately 20 cents to now 42.5 cents. So that's a 2x right here. And uh, now we have a resistance at 42.5 at 0.425. We have been trying to cross that threshold for four days, the past four days. We succeeded during the day on Friday a little bit, but we closed back in a little bit. We have stochastic over 60, which is at 95. So we have a great stochastic here. When the U is going to close above 0.425, this is going to be a buy signal. And then this is the current bullish channel it is in. It should continue at that rate. It should continue at that rate. I would put the stop loss just below 40 cents right here at 0.395. And I would also exit the stock as soon as we break this support line. If not, I would just let it ride. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.